Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to ESPN Plus here at the Leah Chorus Center. I'm Max Dittler, joined by Johnny Zwizlak on the call today of today's Temple women's basketball game as they take on the Houston Cougars, a rematch of two weeks ago in the Houston begun Temple's three-game losing streak. Johnny, what are your thoughts on how Temple can bounce back and get the tie up the score here? Hey, you referenced that previous Houston game. Houston really pressured Temple and forced the turnovers 26 times. Temple has to limit their turnovers if they want any chance of taking down Houston. Tip-off will be at 2 o'clock here for the Leah Corsa. Jones, 6-1, second tallest player on the Cougars. As Nelson will bring it up, for, uh, up the court. And finally, Temple is past half court. As looking for their first bucket of the game. They've only taken two shots in the first two and a half minutes. One, three, and one, two. Tiara East trying to change that. Nice spin. She can't get Temple on the board, though, as Layla Blair brings down the rebound. Blair comes the other way. Temple now 0 for 3, really struggling here so far. And getting the floater to go is Patterson, and now it's 13 to nothing for Houston. A ridiculous start and a huge hole now that Temple will have to climb out of early on as Brittany Garner now will go to the scorer's table for the Owls. And we finally have our first foul of the game on Houston after two called early on Temple. So 13-0, yeah, this is a tough start, Johnny, for the Owls. I mean, this probably couldn't have gone worse for Temple, but better for Houston. I mean, Houston's playing the exact game that they played in that second half against Temple that weared them down and let them pull away towards the end. But for Temple, you, you really just have to calm down and offensively they're taking not ha not having the best shot selection either so kind of just getting better on the offensive end Brittany Garner checks in for Temple as Perea almost throwing that away East she gets rejected Blair saves it but she did throw it off her own teammate it will stay down with Temple uh, Brittany Garner had probably her best game of the season in that first meeting with the Cougars with eight points and really had a good job both on the glass and scoring especially in that second half she was a real focal point for the Owls. Nelson left open for three and she shoots it off the side of the backboard and this atrocious start for the Owls continues. I mean, that's just purely uncharacteristic from Nelson. Great play though. Quickly pass it in to Garner and then back to Nelson. She got the look she wanted, just not the shot. 13 nothing, 6.20 to play in the first quarter. Layla Blair with the ball. She's got six of the 11 for the Cougars. Onya Jay now has it as Temple playing a little bit of some zone here, and they are, a little 2-3 zone. Blair breaks it, and she can't finish. Nelson, oh, she had Tiara East cutting down the middle of the court, but she couldn't find her. Now she finds East a bit too late. Man, that was a huge chance for Temple oh, to yeah. play in a layup. Gary, nice pump fake, in and out for three. And coming in is East with some great hustle. It's going to be a jump ball and it'll stay with the Owls. That's just a great job by, by Tierra East. She crushed those boards coming flying out of nowhere, able to grab that ball and force the jump ball. Yeah, that was Temple now finally getting, as you see, uh, Tierra East crashing the bucket. That was her ball, and she wanted oh. to take that away from Onya J. 100%. She was flying, and she, no matter what, she was grabbing that ball. That was hers from the get-go. Nelson once again throw it underneath the basket. We're about to be halfway through this quarter with Temple without a basket here so far. Not just a basket, but a single point. Aaliyah Nelson trying to dribble past her purse as Purvis checks in for the first time for Houston. Now Perea's on the ground, and they're going to call, I think, an offensive foul on Coranda Perea. I'm not, I, I'm Or maybe curious. a trial. They're going to say held ball, which is Houston's possession. Oh, uh, yes. I, I, uh, you like you like to see Corinna Perea going down and diving on the ball there, but unfortunately, it'll be a turnover once again for the Owls. So right now, there's currently five on the shot clock, but they'll change that to so it will be Houston ball. The Houston Cougars up 13 nothing halfway through the opening quarter here at the Leah Cora Center. As we're continuing on, this is a 30-second timeout. So Temple down 13 nothing. Johnny, they've already had to use two of their four uh, timeouts in this ball game, as they haven't even had a point yet so yeah. far. Uh, it's, it's really not looking good if you're Temple. This is, oh, I've mentioned before, but this is the exact opposite way you wanted to start. You thought maybe having a week off, having time to look over Houston's tape, re-watch re the game from prior, and you're doing making the exact same mistakes that you made in the Houston game. It is not what you're looking for. It's not what you're looking for. 
So the Owls will try to throw it in. Gary almost throws it in, but Gardner saves it. Temple has Nelson, there's two on the shot clock. Gardner chucks it up. It'll be a shot clock violation on Temple, their fourth turnover so far. And not a good play drawn up after that.